Today I want to clarify some of the distinctions in the IPX6 antenna submodel line. The IPX6 is made to be a rugged heavy duty antenna that was uh, built to mill spec originally and designed for the US Navy SEALs by Smiley and then because our specialist clientele needs three rubber ducts to get through the entire VHF spectrum we went to the color coding scheme in order to make it easier to differentiate when you're in a hurry uh, between which 10 megahertz band spread your antenna is going to address this way you can swap them out in the dark and so on now it got a little more complicated when we introduced the counterpoise which is also known as the rat tail and getting that onto the antenna became more problematic because you can see on this lower antenna the tubing is one contiguous piece right to the base there's no break where this base screws off I'll show you how that works with the standard smiley stock antenna that this is built upon you can see this smiley base system they have different bases you can get this one's the SMA female or you can get an SMA male base such as this one so that's the way their base system works and they screw on that juncture point right there and you can swap them our rat tail is built on one of those bases and then can get put onto a regular antenna however then that becomes precluded with our proprietary design where the tubing goes from here right down to the bottom you can't see it but right about here is where that base connection is and now it's sealed in if you already own one of these and then you upgrade later on to a counterpoise adapter or you need to get a different style base you can actually take an exacto knife and circumcise right there just cutting through the tubing and then you can unscrew that I'll show you one example of an antenna I've done that too and that would be sorry for that this one is one where I cut it it's not quite as elegant once you've cut it off but I had to do that to this and that's an example of what you can do after the fact if you do have one like that we've now added the option where you can order the IPX 6R R just meaning rat tail make it easier for me to distinguish and that's the one on the top so what we've done with that is made it so that when you buy it it already comes configured so that the base can unscrew from it that way it facilitates swapping a rat tail on and off as such now you're prepared to use rat tail of course if you a number of people use the cheaper Baofeng radios uh, which has an SMA female type of connection these will be phased out eventually because the SMA female antenna base is not as good as an SMA male and going forward when you finally upgrade your radio to uh, a better radio that's a non-hobbyist radio chances are you will then be looking at an SMA male base if you'd already bought some of these antennas now you can just buy an SMA male base and swap your antenna over you don't have to change the whole antenna so the top one is the IPX6R and this bottom one is the IPX6F where the base cannot be detached hopefully that clarifies for you uh, if you're in a pre-purchase environment which one 
is best for you to make your selection on. This is Ron Tessalini. Um, Mr. Tessalini, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs> Trying to have a shower. We're taking water from Bryant Creek. We've never done this before. Larry Gilmore. Over 60 years of combined experience between these two gentlemen, and they've never done it before. Okay. 